Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Open Zoe 1015. I'm going to read one of my school books. And nearly, I think lots of them. I'm also going to read these two after. This one is called King of the Birds. Find out what's going to happen. I think you can be surprised. King of the Birds. Pout and Jay were sitting in the branches of a dark fir tree. They were having a quarrel. We birds are always quarreling, Jig Parrot. What we need is a king, a grand king for all the birds to see that we play fair. Jay agreed. They set a day for all the birds to have a, a, an important meeting. At the meeting, they would choose a king. Poor Crow was upset. No one will choose me, he chipped sadly. I look too dull to be king. Cockatoo looks fantastic. And look at little hummingbird. As for me, I've got no chance. All the elephants, all the birds wanted to be picked to be king. So they went to the elephant pond for a wash and a brush up. First the elephants drinking at the pond squirted the birds. Feathers with water and crocs and crocs brush the teeth off with their teeth. Crocs brushed the teeth? Crocs brushed the teeth. The teeth. The dead of with the with teeth with their teeth. I get confused. Yes. <laughs> Crow was watching all this. He spotted some bright feathers, red, gold and green that cockatoo and hummingbird had dropped on the grass. When the rest of the birds birds had whirled off to the meeting, he picked up the feathers and stuck them onto his back with mud. What a handsome bird, he chipped to himself. Thirsty birds, big and small, sat in the fir tree. The meeting began. Cockatoo was the first to display himself. The rest agreed that he was indeed an almost splendid bird. The second was Little Hummingbird. He twirled amongst the branches, his bright feathers whirl, whirling up and flashing. The third bird was Crow as he pranked as he pranced in front of the watching birds, a red feather fell off his back and drifted on the grass. There was a stir in the branches of the fir tree and the rest of the birds began to ang an angry chipping. You have tricked us, sir, said Cockatoo firmly. Firmly, You may have a handful of bright feathers, but we can see that you're still, at, you're still just dull old girl. Crow. <laughs> but uh, Crow squirmed and three more feathers fell off. You're right, Cockatoo, he chipped, looking at his feet. I was silly to pretend. I know it was wrong. I may still be dual old crow, but that's not so bad, you know. We can't all be as splendid as you. Maybe a dual old crow would be a good king. Cockatoo nodded slowly. And so, and so did Hummingbird and Jay and then Parrot. You, you're right, Crow, say Parrot at last. You have admitted that you did wrong. And that shows that you are a good bird. 
that's more important than what you look like. I think you would be a terrific king, and he was. So, Mum, would you like to read the questions to me? Okay. Why does pirates think they need a king? Because they're always quelling and they need a king to see that they play fair. Okay. Why do the birds go to the elephant porch? Pond. Pond. <laughs> um, so they can have a wasp and a bishop. Why did Crow pick up the feathers? So then because he's due to be king right now. But he picked up the bright feathers, red, green and gold. Gold, so then he can stick them on his back with mud, so he wouldn't be told to be king, so he can be king. Mm, okay. Uh, Crow do with the feathers? Stick them on his back with mud, I just said that. And why was Crow the king? Because he did something wrong, so, and he admitted he did it wrong, so then he was the king. So a good king admits when they're wrong? Yes. Nice. I hope you liked this video. Make sure you click the subscribe button and like to subscribe. And make sure you see my next video so you'll see me read this book. This is not my pizza. And the next, Mr. Pa Please, Mr. Panda Bear, you better watch out.